Yeah, you know, I mean, like I told, like, you know, you know, you know, I'm, I'm from a small hood in Marcy. I come from a project, I come from nothing. Like Trust our pen, don't trust our pen podcast. It's your boys back in the building. It's your boy OJ. It's your boy Here we are once again. So this is Joey Diaz, uh, one legged woman. Uh, see you guys spamming that thing in the, uh, the comments. Right, right. And we will eventually get on to everything that you guys spam. So Thanks. here we go. We got y'all. Don't bring anyone to this. By the way, you know Potter. Did you know that he can't come? Where? Josh Potter can get it up. And, and he can ejaculate. Up with a girl. No. Tremendous. That's even better. He I wants to. Who though. wants to come? He wants to. I want to drill a hole in their fucking eyes that they can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. When you're fucking them and their one eyeball is hanging out. Jesus. It's like, when are you going to come? Because I come quick. Yeah. Uh, I come in a minute. So if I can come in... Right there with you, brother. If I can come in 20 minutes and just keep giving your dick going from pussy to asshole to mouth, <laughs> back to your fucking Jeez, pussy. Jeez, Joey. Drill it back that's to your That's what you're doing? That's no, what you're but doing? that's my fantasy. If I couldn't come for an that's hour awesome. all, Hit you in the face, make it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he goes in. Yeah. Now I, I'm I'm confused, right? Because um, I've had women that uh, complain that dudes come too quick, right? Right. And I have women that complain that dudes come too late. Yeah. So everyone, you know, comment like the perfect time. Uh, ladies, men, comment the the perfect duration. For uh, sexual intercourse. You know what I feel like it is? Yeah. I feel like it could be anywhere from not counting foreplay. Not, not, no, no foreplay, no, no foreplay. No foreplay. foreplay. So probably like 10, 20 minutes. 10, 10 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Okay. Around that range. I feel okay. Like. If you I think th over half an hour is too much, I feel like. I, I mean, think about it. Half that's, a, that's a long ass time, you know? Like, how um, many positions you're going to be doing in half an hour? I'm just trying to do one position, man, to be honest with you, man. We all know what that is. Yeah, bro. Like yeah, yeah. With that one. Um, I was about to get too freaky up ahead. Now, don't, don't. That, that's, yeah, I think that's for another discussion. Yeah, that's for another one. Yeah. Don't trust our paid DM, ladies. Remember, we answer. Best stuff on earth. <laughs> Fucking popping it out of here, you like confused. <laughs> yeah. You don't know where you're going. Listen, so he's never it. come. He's right here. He's right there. Talk to him. That's how it usually goes, by the way. Yeah, that's it. It's an hour of fucking space. But, but he he can only come if he jerks off. He can okay, tell me when you want to come after the chick is laying there like she got shot in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Like she's laying there, <laughs> the up. one leg is hanging. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Her mouth is stretched out. Her, her asshole, it's still open like a dragon's mouth. You know when you fuck up the ass? The asshole stays open. Uh, do I? And you're just standing there drinking milk, trying to recoup and shit. You're giving them like Gatorade, then yeah. you just drink off on the tits and call it a night. There you go, man. Why are we even trying to solve this Dude, problem? I don't think it's a problem. It's anymore. not a problem. You don't? No, yeah. No. I don't, I don't know. Joey's convinced me. I mean, I want to just mangle some. If you told problems. three chicks... That you couldn't come, that you could give him each dick for an hour. You could get all three of them to show up at once and just keep going like Don Henley style. You ever read that book? You've been uh -uh. working this time again. It came out in 98 about a hooker uh -uh. who wrote about all her experiences that she wrote about Don Henley. That she would go to Don, Don Henley with all the four bitches and he would sit there at this table like this was his table and that's a fireplace. He would make them bend do don't Don't even look at me. <laughs> you wouldn't even let them look at it. Just look towards the fireplace and bend, bend over. And do lines of coke. And then get up, open up his robe, and stick it in you like four times. And he'd sit back down and, <laughs> and do a couple more lines. And he'd have you there for eight hours. What? what? This could be his life. Over. This could be your life, Josh. God, I hope so. That's someday. That's <laughs> enough. Like when, you, when I was younger and I did coke, oh, that was dick for fucking four hours. You just were giving out dick. They're looking at you like, when is this going to stop? And then when you do come, it's one of those long loads. Yeah. You ever have those loads? Like, I used to I used to be on probation. And there was a dude that was like a G.I. Joe dude that failed the police test. But his assistant was a good-looking woman. Like, she was kind of cute. If I was 30, she was like 38. Nobody talked to her in the because she had like a wooden leg. Like, her leg was kind of like... 
she had like that little limp. But you could tell the bitch had game. Like she could suck a cock in the <laughs> eyes. Like I tell this bitch is totally <laughs> dog still because of the fucking wooden leg. Yeah. Whatever the fuck she's got, she got shot in Vietnam. I didn't know what happened to her. And she was very nice. I forget what her name was. I'd see her, I'd always flirt with her. But when I was doing and I wasn't a probation, I figured out how to fuck with the piss test. I'm uncircumcised, so I would take like fucking pool cleaner and put it on my dick. And then pull All the skin I off tell the story and put like a tab over well, not like the, a bread the tab, like a, like a fucking rubber band. And then when I would go pee, the guy would watch me. And I would take my thing out and just pee and then pull the skin back. And all the pool cleaner would go into the fucking thing. And then I would zap the machine. They would always say to me, this motherfucker's up to something. So he asked her, she goes, maybe you could see what the fuck he's doing. So I would, I, I, I knew when press 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 ball, ball, ball. I'll be there. Why, like, he is such a good ass storyteller. <laughs> like, I'm so invested into this shit. And he speaks like. That sound like, that sound painful. That yeah, sound like, painful. yeah. I, the, I'm certain, yeah. You got to pull it back up. Yeah. I hate watching porn with uncircumcised dudes. Yeah, it creeps. It's the worst. It's like a yeah. Whole, yeah, it's, it's the worst thing. thing. It's like, it's like, it, it shouldn't, it, what, what happened? Firecrackers. Oh, uh, no. yeah. No one getting shot, people. It's just firecrackers. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like, he's so good at uh, telling the story, man. And, like, he's telling the story like it's, like, we about to go on a heist or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, when Joey he got speaks. Story for days. Yeah, when he speaks, I'll listen, man. stories for days. Because they would call you. And then you had to call a machine that would tell you what color was up. Mm -hmm. And if the color came up, then you, let's say your color is maroon, and they go, today's colors are green, maroon, and black. You would have to call in and tell them what time you're coming in. You had until 5 o'clock, but you had to make an appointment. Then she'd tell you, no, no. If he has it, that means he was going to watch you while you're pissed. But with me, they had mirrors around me. They couldn't figure out what I was doing, so they sent her in. So before I would go and I'd fucking do a half a jerk. You were on that? My dick nice and big. Yeah. And then I'd sprinkle it the fucking uh, pool cleaner. The pool cleaner. <laughs> the pool, the doesn't it stain your dick, the it pool did. cleaner? It did. I got scars. I got little yeah. holes in my dick and uh, drain a hole. Yeah. I would grind wow. it up. I would fucking put it under my dick and then pull the skin back and it would fall into the piss test and zap it. But before I would piss, I would take the hammer out and show it to her. Like, what do you think? What do you think? There's something nice. And she would look at it and look around the room. And not like I knew. I, I was going to end up sleeping with her or swap this bit with her. Because I flirt with her. No yeah. one talked to the woman because she had a fucked up leg. So I'm off probation. I'm delivering Chinese food. I'm sleeping coke at the same time at the Chinese wow. restaurant. Wow. So I would, have to, I would have you call the Chinese restaurant and say, and I talk to Joe, yeah, what's up? Oh, you want egg drop soup? Whatever. The cocaine would be hidden under the egg drop soup. So that if I got in trouble, the Chinese people got in trouble. I didn't put it in the bag. This is up. When I was out already, out of prison. One night I knock on the door. Who answers the door? It's her. One night I knock on the door. Who answers the door? It's her. And she goes, oh my God. How have you been? Like, oh, it's great to see you. Man, I gave her a hug. And I put the Chinese down. And she goes, what are you doing with your life? I, I'm getting divorced. But I got the stand-up comedy and I'm trying to deliver food to make a living. And She's like, oh, that's so sweet. You, you and her broke up. Oh, you must need a hug. And as I started hugging, we started swapping spit. And I touched a little monkey. And I could feel nobody had even touched a monkey in like 10 years. <laughs> Steam started coming. <laughs> and I started <laughs> First of all, man. Oh, man, this dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Diaz, people. I, I man, I love this dude, man. I, I even like the lingo that he uses. He <laughs> started touching up monkeys. Steve started coming out. This guy, man, that's ruthless right there. And I touched a little monkey. I could feel nobody had even touched a monkey in like 10 years. Steve started coming out. And I started fingering that motherfucker like a savage. Stop and spit with yeah. And my hand was nice and what, and I'm fingering I got a pinky surrounding her asshole. And I'm working, so I put it down slowly, and I pop her pants, I take a tit, I just tell one big fucking tit, I'm sucking a tit, and I'm, I'm fucking smart. I'm making out with it, I'm fingering at the same time. So while I'm fingering I take her pants down, but I go, I don't want to see what the other leg is. So I took the leg off of the good leg, and I left the fucking bad leg covered, because I don't want to know what yeah. it is. 
If she's got like a pole under there, one of those fucked up feet. <laughs> See, so I picked up a fucking knife and I started eating that pussy. The clit fucking was huge. I'm sucking at it. <laughs> like a piece of bubble. And I look up at it and she's like this, Christine. Like, with her mouth open, I go, now's the time to put the helmet in that fucking mouth. <laughs> so I switched up, I started two finger Louie in her, and I went around her, and I put that fucking hammer in her mouth, and she didn't know what to do. She was like, mm. and, was, and at that time, <laughs> at that time, I was trying to fucking lift weights and shit, so I wasn't jerking off, because somebody told me that to jerk off, that your protein, I was yeah. retarded. Yeah. <laughs> I told you not, it was one of those words, Christine, that don't stop. You yeah. have one of those things, I know, and Christine. you're sucking it, you're sucking it, Yo! closed, and then after a minute, you open it up, and you're like, where is this going to stop? And I could look at a swallow on it, and it was endless. It was oh, fucking shit. endless. It was just a load of death. It was like a month and a half of not coming. There was Valium in there and Xanax. It's and oh, so okay. nice seeing you, Joey. Thanks for trying to I shot a load in the mouth, and when I took my dick out, she went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> It was like she drank a drop of Mountain Dew. She looked at me, she started getting a little dizzy. <laughs> oh I was selling Valium at the time. I was taking like a hundred dollars of Valium a night. When I shot in her mouth to put her in a trance, she, probably she high was high. glassy eyed. She gave me a three dollar tip and I left. And I never saw her again. Uh, she must have ate that Chinese food and slept for a week. Oh my god. Oh. You got any Christ. dates coming up? You want to come <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can still you got a Twitter feel, handle. You, you can still feel what that nut felt like, I bet, right? Oh, it was like a, it was like like a three minute nut. Yeah. Wait a minute, you didn't even bang her? You no, didn't put it no. in her regime? No. No, well, that's, no. that's, that's yeah, the pussy was, was tremendous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I licked her ass. Sorry, I blacked out at some yeah, point. Yeah, I didn't listen sure. close Once I shoved my tongue in your ass, you black out. It's like, <laughs> it's like you're 14 and your uncle's lost to you. You know <laughs> Oh my man. god, man. Shit. This fucking guy, man. Because I feel like he match, matches our humor. Yes. We, we, behind the camera, we keep a PG for y'all. We got a yeah, lot we, of we, dark we, yeah, we humor, really. son. And yeah. I, fuck you, I fuck with Joey Diaz. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to offend nobody too yeah, much. Yeah, you know. You know you know how YouTube is. Yeah. But dark humor, that yo, man, listen. that's We really into that shit. Mm -hmm. And, um... Yo, I fucking yo, he's creeping up there for me, man. Yeah. I'm so surprised I never heard about. I feel him like before. we give Joey Rumpel his money though. We, we, we oh yeah, yeah, we can get real dark. To we meet up with him. Yeah, we can get real dark. Facts. Nah, but this is funny, bro. Hilarious, man. Please run that back again. This man said like you're 14, your uncle stuck your tongue. <laughs> yo, man, please run that back. It's so fucked up, but it, it's, it's so blacked out with oh, yeah, some yeah, genius. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Close. Once I shove my tongue in your ass, you black out. It's like. <laughs> It's like you're 14 and your uncle's lost to you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 just black out. And what happened was going to happen anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. No. This is too good. Oh man, you're Fuck the best. It. Take a shower. Fuck it. Uh, Joey Diaz. Oh, church of what's happening now. Whew, um, he needs to go to church after that. You gotta repent, You gotta see him at the comedy store. Oh. Go to his dates. Where did your web your website? I don't forget. JoeyDiaz.net. You're the best. You're the best. So are you guys. I love, love you so much. Christine, you lived that load when I was saying it. That's why. <laughs> I did not it live It took you love. back to college like one time. I did not. I did not. You got a bad <laughs> yeah, you batch of those Puerto Ricans. Yeah, you got a bad batch of those Placadito sperm where you just kept fucking <laughs> swallowing. <laughs> saying this is the worst pinky collada I've ever God, man, um, son, I love this dude, man. It's his, his, his comedy is, it's, the, it's, no, Joey, Joey, man, man. Joey's one he's of the up guys. There, man. He's creeping up there, man. Joey's definitely one of the guys, bro. Yeah, man, uh, there's not really much more I can say, man. Per like, it's this shit is perfect, man. He's hilarious, man. Right. Storytelling, because Joey, like, some, like, he doesn't, 
he doesn't have to tell joke after joke after joke after joke. He can just tell a story, boom, the joke comes here. And then, like, it's like, ah, oh my God. Like, it's for anyone... It's life, though. Hmm? It's just a nigga life. Yeah, like, for anyone that watches um, basketball, like, you know when you play basketball, like, uh, like a guy like J.R. Smith, right? Mm -hmm. Like, J.R. has spurts where he just goes crazy, just makes shot after shot after shot after shot. That kind of reminds me of Joey Diaz. Like, Joey Diaz, once he tells one joke... It just keeps hitting and keep hitting and keep hitting and keep hitting and keep hitting. And keep hitting. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just so good. Man, he, man, Joey's, yo, I'm so shocked I never heard about him before, man. Uh, shout out to Joey Diaz, man. One of, my, to Joey, man. one of my favorites right now. Um, Yeah, don't trust our fan. Put more Joey Diaz in the comments, man. Yo.